Janavada is uh, translated as Rashtra. In Amaragosha, you say uh, Rashtra in the place of Janapada in Saptangas. The meaning of a word is what is determined by the context. That is Saptanga theory itself is a very vast subject. Each topic means if you take King, if you take Amatyas, if you take Janapada, if you take uh, uh, Kosha, Danda, Mitra, all these seven aspects, every aspect needs a lot of time to discuss. Chanakya has discussed in, it in a very detailed version. Only for a king, if you take only a king, the whole first Vinayadhikarana, there are many chapters of Vinayadhikarana which deals with the uh, king part. Agajanana Padmarkam Gajanana Maharnisham Anekadantam Bhaktanam Ekadantam Upasmahe. Welcome everybody to this Atharva form where today we are going to meet a steward of the field of Indic knowledge system who has done a great job in Indian wisdom and has been teaching for several decades now, maybe more than five or six decades, he has been teaching in the field of Sanskrit as well as Indic knowledge system. He is none other than uh, Professor Gangadharan Nayarji, who, was actually, who is a retired professor and HOD of Kaladi Sanskrit University in Kerala. He has been awarded by the uh, prestigious presidential award from the president in the year 2018. The beautiful thing is he is Jnana Vruddha and Vayo Vruddha, both. Means he is, the, he is full of knowledge. So let us welcome Professor Gangadhar Nayarji to Atharva Forum. Welcome Gangadhar Nayarji to Atharva Forum. Welcome, so Swagatam. Today, today Gangadhar Nayarji is going to speak on the topic Understanding Artha in the Statecraft Saptanga Rajyam. There is a, once upon a time, there was a situation when in this world there was no king, no punishment, no governance, nothing. Mahabharata says, Naiva Rajyam na Raja Seed, Nadando Nachadandikaha, Dharme Naiva Praja Sarve, Palayantisma Parasparam. So the people of the whole world were protecting each other through Dharma. Once, so gradually, what happened? The people got delusion of the earth. And so they starting attacking each other. So Matsyanyaya started. Matsyanyaya means the big fish eating the small fish. So this uh, maxim came into existence where the powerful people started making the weaker people suffer. So for that sake, the people decided, people came together and decided that we will make Manu the king of this world. So first king of the universe, we can say that Manu was the first king of the world. From there onwards, this theory of Artha Shastra started. Now, the question here arises, what is Artha? The people have been thinking Artha in a very different manner. Artha also means the meaning of a word. Artha means money. Artha means wealth. Artha means knowledge. There are many meanings of Artha. Now, in the Kautilya's Artha Shastra, Many, pe many people, many scholars are actually, they are confused what does this artha means. May I request Gangadharanji to explain us what the word artha means in artha shastra. Over to you Gangadharanji. Okay. okay. Uh, what you said is correct. In artha shastra itself it is uh, that uh, Manu was elected by the people to be the king. And what will happen at the end, the small will uh, perish and the strongest will survive. The survival of the fittest, no, but the survival of the strongest. And uh, who will protect the generations? Who will protect the people? If the strongest kills the uh, weakest, it will continue like anything. Ad infinitum. Then finally, there will be no one on earth. So to save the humanity from destruction, the people met together and they said one should be the king. 
and then Manu was the man who was selected to be the king. That is said there. Then about Artha, uh, we say that the word has several connotations, several meanings. And uh, actually, we derive the word from the root uh, Gati Prabhanayo. It is a verbal root in Sanskrit, which means Ru, that the root is Ru, and it means Gati and to go and to attain. Prabhana. And whatever you can reach is called Artha. Whatever you have to achieve is Artha. That means if uh, you are looking at something, your eyes are reaching that thing. So, in the case of sense organs, whichever is uh, taken by the sense organ, understood by the sense organ, is an Artha. So, Vishaya, the object of the sense organ is an Artha there. Similarly, if you are trying to get something, then that is also an Artha. So the word has a general meaning there. But here in Artha Shastra, at the end there is a Pragarana. There is an Athigarana actually. It is Tantra Yukti Athigarana. Tantra Yukti. Tantra Yukti means the plan of the science. Artha Shastra is a science. And what methodology he is adopting? What is the uh, scheme? Artha Shastra, Artha Shastra Kara, our county here, uh, resorts to that is there. And he says, Artha uh, Vritti Vritti. Vritti means the livelihood of the people is Artha. And that livelihood depends upon Prithivi land. So land is Artha here. And my science, Artha Shastra, deals with uh, the knowledge how to acquire land and how to protect it. And we know that in the present day society also, uh, land is very important. Land. To possess land, it is very difficult. Even there are countries which are ruled by strong people, but they also want to uh, acquire more land and uh, protect that land from others. <laughs> that is it. And what is the duty of a king? Duty of a king is to uh, get sufficient land for his citizens, his people, and to protect that land. That is it. Then only the people will get their livelihood, what all they want to live with. So is this Artha different from the Chaturvida Purusha Artha? Uh, there, uh, this Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, there is one Artha. And in Artha Shastra, there is one Artha. Are these two Arthas different? Or they are same? Actually, by this uh, methodology, when you seek this one, there is slight difference. That's all. But... Uh, that artha is also taken into consideration in our uh, pursuit. In our pursuit, dharma, artha, kama, and moksha. Uh, dharma and artha are very important according to our uh, artha shastra. And uh, he says artha is more important. Why? Because it is the power and wealth, both. The power and the wealth comes from the land. So he, he connects uh, this Artha to land and uh, the power to protect that land. That is it. Does oh. not mean that. Wherever in our life also you see in the pursuit, what are you seeking? You are seeking to get uh, uh, happiness. Happiness comes from here. where? It comes from uh, whatever possession you are having. What are your possessions? Your possession, the first the possession you can give, you can get is land. If you get land, then uh, you can produce something on the land and you can acquire, and you, have, you can get money from there and you can have a peaceful life. The ancient days that was there. The modern society changes have come and people can live without land also. That's the truth thing. 
those people who are having wealth they can live without land but even then somebody is making use of land for the uh, living of these people those people who are uh, living without land you have so the so a king or an administration or a government should have land without a base what can they do even if you are an uh, big employee you are, even if you are getting uh, much salary amount you cannot live with salary alone you, you should get a place to live in and also food you should get and uh, that should be provided and who will provide it the government should provide from where the land is required okay and as you said even salary is dependent on the place where you are staying the place you are working <laughs> that is so, okay yeah. that is the if i am working as a, as a professor in a university even university is a place a land so i yes. think i have understood your concept well okay <laughs> so uh, so my next question is uh, what is actually this state uh, is there any definition of rajya given in somewhere in our indian texts what is state something actually we are not defining rashtra there even though we had the concept of rashtra from very ancient times even the, in the vedas we are having that word rashtra and uh, rashtra is translated as the land hmm. that particular uh, division of land which is under the uh, given governance of a king that is rashtra and in the modern period also we are having the very same sense i think so is it not so yes when we say part of the rashtra yes we are taking into consideration the land which is in the administration of a particular government elected by us is it not so so yes. that that sense is there in the olden days there were kings now there are elected Uh, representatives to govern only difference but mainly it is rashtra when um, janapada we say in the saptangas mm. that janapada is uh, translated as rashtra in amaragosha you say uh, rashtra in the place of janapada in saptangas so uh, what do you think this state should consist of this rajya should consist of uh, as i heard that in arthashastra the kautilya describes that the state should have seven elements saptanga rajyam uh, what this concept actually is what is this saptanga rajyam is uh, which are these seven uh, limbs of which are these seven seven elements of the rajya he says about uh, saptanga but he does not say that saptanga he does not say later we say lap saptanga because he uh, put forward seven items uh, and uh, we can call them seven uh, essential parts in the administration of a kingdom if you have to run a country If, if if you have to govern a country then there will be somebody on in the on the top who should control everything control and uh, that is swami the owner who is the owner the in, in ancient days it was the king he was the swami then swami is one and then he is having amatyas amatyas you know amatyas are and now you can call them uh, ministers something like that so these ministers help in the administration of the king but they are intimate to the king loyal to the king that is why they are always with him when they physically they are not with him 
they are with him in all matters that is why it is an ama vartate idi amartya ama that means with saha so he is with the king always so he is amartya and uh, amartya is the second swami the amartya then swami amartya uh, then there is janapada janapada you know the yes. place the land where people live then after janapada there is durga durga means fort fort means uh, a city something like that if you are having uh, a janapada janapada uh, really means a land where cultivation etc is going on then we are not living in villages alone there should be offices in the modern sense there should be offices there should be the office of the king. and there should be the office of the amartya then should be other people we you we which people had all the departments in the administration and uh, where they are uh, they are settled that is a city that is durga and it should be protected very well that is why uh, kautilya gives several specifications for the construction of a fort how should it, it be where should be the king's palace where should be the amartya place of living where should be the say pharmacy <laughs> that is there pharmacy then there comes kosha kosha means treasury where you are having your wealth in a country uh, wealth is essential and where shall you keep the wealth and who will administer so there is a kosha treasury that is the next one then uh, there is danda here danda means the uh, military asset not the danda the punishment as you see but it is also a kind of punishment of the enemy that is uh, that what uh, they are doing so you should have an army uh, that is meant by danda there and uh, again there is mitra friends so if you are a country uh you may have neighbors and some of the neighbors are not uh, friends they are enemies and also some friends you require friends and uh, in, in individual case also you require friends similarly a king should have friends and also a ruler should have friends in the neighboring countries also that is very essential so when you speak of friends kautilya speaks of uh, enemies also and how can you defeat the enemies you can win friends and they will help you my first question is danda has several meanings yeah. in different places different meanings are used by kautilya like uh, in one place danda is using as a punishment another place mm. he is using danda as a tax at some places mm. he is using danda as a governance in some places mm. he is using danda as a uh, as a uh, sena means military uh, so actually uh, danda what actually danda means danda means uh, say demiyati anena it is danda by which uh you bring somebody under your control that is danda that definition definition is there that uh, etymology is there and uh, in sanskrit words have different meanings the meaning which you have according to its derivation is one and uh, in course of time the word gets several other meanings that is there and how can you determine 
in what meaning a word is used you have to depend upon the context so the meaning of a word is what is determined by the context that is there and this meaning there may be anena is danta that you will apply that vipatti nimittam it is called vipatti nimittam the reason for the formation of the word that will be applicable everywhere whether it is a fine whether it is a punishment uh, in crime and punishment then uh, where it is the army everywhere that vipatti nimittam is the same why the word is used in that sense is the same but you have to get the exact meaning according to the context so yeah uh, so this part is understood it's well very well explained by you now mm-hmm. my question is in, while explaining these seven anga i have seven angas what seven elements of the rajya you said that janapada is actually the state or land now my question is where to where are the people here i cannot see uh, well uh, does do people come under janapada can we say that people ter- uh, this population come under janapada territory and population are the part of janapada yes people live in janapadas and uh, how the king should see uh the occupation of the land that is also explained by kaudilya and also at the end of the janapada there may be fort that is there uh, on frontiers maybe there you are having all kinds of people and uh, there are traders there are artisans but in the janapada countryside most of them are cultivators and uh, one interesting thing is that chanakya allows art dance etc shilpa etc in the fourth the city but in the, the, the other janapada the countryside the villages he is not alone why those people who are engaged in cultivation if they are seeking pastimes they won't go to farming so there should not be theaters there there should not be places of gambling there yes indeed he had a very great vision we cannot even think of such vision in these days uh, mm. now my questions just i want to change a uh, bit uh, change in my question uh, mm. i saw that in saptanga you were explain while explaining you said there are king there is a king amatya janapada kosha durga uh, danda and mitra mm. as i when i was reading arthashastra i found that the highly paid person was purohita 48000 panas was paid uh, i can't see his name here in this saptanga was he not important if he was Which not one? important purohita 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 ha uh, he was paid 48000 pana which was the highest yes, paid yes 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 because purohita is also included in amatya and uh, amatya and the king should be controlled by somebody and the king himself takes the responsibility to have a man or a group of people to control him it is said uh, the king should be uh, subject to the control of amatya very good amatya mandarins and purohita and the purohita is expert in all the vedas and all other knowledge other amatyas also should know but they may not be very good in our shastra who is that purohita or the very nearest ministers they are uh, 
uh, usually from a family associated with his father's key. That traditionally comes, parampara. So if that tradition is there, then what happens? When a young man becomes a king, then the minister he is having, he is inheriting that minister, think of it. He is inheriting a minister, he is inheriting a Purohida from his father, you think of it. Yes. And uh, then when he says something, this young man will obey. That is it. This Purohita, etc. should be given very high salary. And uh, you should know that all these Purohitas who are guiding the king were living very simple lives. Like, no. How was Kaudilya? Kaudilya who made the empire, who defeated Nanandas and uh, made the empire an empire from Assam to you say uh, Afghanistan and uh, who made Chandrakuta the empire, emperor of the greatest, biggest emperor then, then that very same Kautilya was living in a cottage. He was living in a cottage. Okay, so you have explained in a very beautiful way the Saptanga, like uh, how king is the superior power and Amatyas uh, assist him in the deeds of taking care of the Janapada as well as increasing the Kosha and making the uh, keeping the whole country safe through Durgas and through Danda as well as making friends he was increasing his foreign policy and all. So these points are very clear. Also there is another uh, section, Kandaka Shotan. Yes. Where you are, you are uh, taking away, you are dealing with those who are doing harm inside and outside, even in the administration, how they should be dealt with. The system of intelligence is there. How to punish the culprit, how to punish the people who are doing harm, those who are taking bribes are there. Even in other sections also, in the Apteksha Pratara also, there are, uh, say, checks, how to check those who are going on their own against the interest of the king. The king's interest is the king interest of the people. And uh, actually it means those people who are working against the interest of the people should be found out. That also is to me. So the Saptanga comes in the middle. Yes. And there he is explaining what, what are the qualities of Saptanga. Yes. There he is, uh, says what, he, what are the qualities of a King Swami also. He, there. It's a very well explained, uh, Acharya Ji. Uh, mm. Uh, this also reminds me that in the testing part, there are four different types of testing like Dharmopadha basis on the base of Dharma, yes, yes. Arpopadha, Kamopadha and Bhayopadha. Yes, 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 yes. Think, uh, there are. This, uh, this is very, uh, though it's a very simple thing, people easily understand, so I'll not ask question on this. Uh, uh, mm. Present, where there is a Artha, I am sure there is a Lobha. Mm. Mm. So, was there a situation in the time of Arthashastra Kautilya where mm. people were doing this, uh, what, um, uh, people taking money, uh, corruption and all? Was there such a mm. situation existing during that time? Well, is there any explanation about that in this uh, uh, Kosha yes, part? Uh, yes, there was corruption. And uh, even if an employee uh, himself does corruption, there was method to find out and there was methods to punish. So there were checks. Even the highest, you know that Amartyas were appointed after tests. Yes. yes. Concealed tests. <laughs> uh, similarly, 
those who were employed they were also tested and uh, there was a very good espionage, espionage system intelligence system yes. anti corruption department you can say and uh, there were institutions or establishments different establishments of spice if three spice came and gave the very same thing very same news about somebody some corruption or something or uh, some behavior on the part of the population then it was taken into consideration because it was true what is the opinion of scout india scout india says as per requirement of the king because there are activities samarthya swigrtiya samarthya anusare that is samarthya anusare samarthya means where it is required for artha for some action so if you have different things to be done in your country you cannot directly go and see all these things that is why you are appointing ministers and these ministers are there but whenever you are discussing something you should not take all the ministers together you don't do that he says no you should discuss with three people yes not one not two but three <laughs> because yes. True. it is also a check you know yes check and oh, yeah. if you are having more than three there is a problem you cannot <laughs> come to a conclusion acharya ji you have explained all the topics very well i would like our viewers to know that saptanga theory itself is a very vast subject each topic means if we would take king if you take amatyas if you take janapada if you take uh, uh, kosha danda mitra all these seven aspect every aspect needs lot of time to discuss chanakya has discussed in it in a very detailed version only for a king if you take only a king the whole first vinayadhikarana there are many chapters of vinayadhikarana which deals with the uh, king part then amatya for the uh, amatya needs about 35 qualities that's uh, that's the mention in the chanakya's arthashastra which says that an amatya and purohita both have both need 35 different types of qualities to be selected similarly kosha uh, regarding kosha there is there is many discussion happening how to earn the kosha how to uh, protect the kosha as well as uh, what are the various means of gaining the kosha and then uh, tax system the taxation there were there some 15 or 16 different types of taxes mentioned the same which we have in present day those taxes are mentioned some four types of durgas forts are mentioned like audaka durga and then uh, this uh, uh, parvata durga similarly there are four different types of vana durga so there are four different types of durgas mentioned then eight different types of uh, dandas were mentioned mitra danda bhrutyaka bhrutaka so vana uh, uh, this so, so there are seven different types of uh, dandas mentioned and then foreign policy which is actually mitra is mentioned in a very detailed and very clear manner by arthashastra lots of pranams from acharya ji for explaining this beautiful topic in such a simple and short manner thank you very much from atharva form thank you acharya ji thank you uh vinayak ji and also the atharva forum for doing all these things